direction of rotation can be different it will be having different structural formula but same molecular formula this kind of compounds will call it as optical isomers the overall phenomenon will call it as optical isomerism the property of substance which makes it capable of rotating the plane polarized light is called optical activity during a reaction if the reactant has same configuration of groups around the stereogenic carbon atom as the top product is called retention configuration hello everyone this is harshita bhava sir from vidya shram pu college temple of excellence now i am going to start session 3 from the chapter halo alkenes and halo arenes in the previous session we have discussed about physical and chemical properties of halo alkenes in the chemical properties we have discussed about nucleophilic substitution reaction till sn1 and sn2 reaction now we want to we have to see the stereochemical aspects of nucleophilic substitution reaction and sn2 mechanism in optically active alkyl halides stereochemical aspects of nucleophilic substitution reaction stereochemistry is also a branch of chemistry in which the optical isomerism will study more so what is this optical isomerism in 1815 french physicist jean baptiste biot who studied this first optical isomerism when two compounds having the same molecular formula and structural formula different direction of rotation of the plane polarized light they are said to be exhibit optical isomerism means two compounds having same molecular formula molecular formula will be same in different two compounds but structural formula will be different because of direction of rotation by the plane polarized light if the molecule is having like this it can be rotated like from right to left or left to right so the direction of rotation can be different it will be having different structural formula but same molecular formula this kind of compounds will call it as optical isomers the overall phenomenon will call it as optical isomerism in that you have to understand about optical activity dextro and levo rotatory compounds and asymmetric compounds we'll discuss first what is optical activity the property of substance which makes it capable of rotating the plane polarized light is called optical activity if the compound has to rotate either from right side or left side through the plane polarized light that overall activity will call it as optical activity or a property will call it as optical activity what is dextro and levo rotatory the compounds which rotate the plane polarized light to the right side which is a clockwise direction we'll call it as dextro rotatory compounds any compound should turn clockwise or to the right side we'll call it as dextro rotatory or it will be designed as d or plus compounds the compounds which rotate the plane polarized light to the left or anti clockwise will called levo rotatory compounds it will be designed designated as my l or minus asymmetric carbon or stereo center a carbon atom with all the four substituents attached to it are different means carbon atom is here it is ch3 this is x this is some different substituent ch2 and this is it may h okay like this different substituent should be there throughout all the four side so this center will call it as stereo center or asymmetric carbon next chiral the objects which are non superimposable on their mirror images are known as chiral and the property is known as chirality these are two compounds that is two butanol this is here mirror is present this is a mirror image of two butanol superimposable means you have to take this one and you have to keep the correct position for this another compound that time this h should be on h only but that is called superimposability but here it will not get superimposed because this h will impose on oh this oh will get impose on h so these kind of compounds will call it as chiral compounds if it is get superimposed that is different but it is not getting superimposed on one another so it is called chiral compound once again we'll study or we'll read that definition the objects which are non superimposable on their mirror images 
these are mirror images of two butanol if we take this compound and keep on that another mirror image it will not get superimposed those kind of compounds will call chiral and that overall phenomena will call or property will call chirality next we'll study what is a chiral the objects which are superimposable on their mirror images are called chirality we'll take same example two propanol this is the mirror image and keep here it will get super impose okay those kind of super imposable compounds we'll call it as a chiral compound next enantiomers enantiomers also stereoisomers which are non super imposable mirror images they only differ with respect to the rotation of plane polarized light if one of the enantiomer is dextro rotatory the other will be levo rotatory enantiomers are what they are also stereoisomers and they are non superimposable they are also will not show the superimposability they are also non superimposable then what is the difference difference in with respect to rotation of plane polarized light difference in plane polar rotation of plane polarized light in two compounds if one one compound is showing the dextro rotatory dextro rotation another compound will show the levo rotation enantiomers possess identical physical properties namely melting point boiling point solubility refractive index etc so enantiomers will show the physical properties the same physical properties like melting point boiling point refractive index etc there are three outcomes for a reaction at any asymmetric carbon atom now we know what is asymmetric carbon atom that is a carbon which is having the valency of 4 that four side should also have different substituents that will call it as asymmetric carbon and there are three outcomes from asymmetric carbon that is inversion retention and racemization we'll see one by one what is inversion retention and racemization retention of configuration during a reaction if the reactant has same configuration of groups around the stereogenic carbon atom as the top product is called retention configuration means during a reaction if the reactant has same configuration of groups the reactant should have the same configuration of groups around the stereogenic center See, stereogenic center means this is the stereogenic center it has to same configuration as the top product is called retention of configuration see here same configuration is there but this is the reactant this is the product but the configuration is same it is configurational correlation when a chemical species x c a b c is converted to into the y c a b c having the same relative configuration we know that x is becoming y but the overall configuration is same around the product like reactant this is called retention of configuration next inversion of configuration during a chemical reaction if the product formed has opposite relative configuration as that of reactant same thing see here it is having same configuration but in the inversion it could have the reverse of this means it has been turned to the reverse that configuration will call it as inversion of configuration that called we can also called waldein inversion next racemic mixture and racemization a mixture containing two enantiomers in equal proportions will have zero optical rotation as the rotation due to the one isomer will become will be cancelled by the rotation due to the another isomer such a mixture is called a racemic mixture or racemic modification means a mixture containing two enantiomers we know already what are enantiomers those two enantiomers it should be in equal proportion and it has to placed in such a way if we change the one rotation it has to become the similar rotation of the another okay so we cannot change the rotation here if we change it has it has to similar to another that kind of mixture will call it as racemic mixture or that kind of modification will call it as racemic modification a sim a racemic mixture is represented by prefix called dl or plus or minus dextro levo or plus or minus before the name for example plus or minus 2 butanol the process of conversion of enantiomer into a racemic mixture is known as racemization means the process of conversion of enantiomers into racemic mixture we know that in the racemic mixture two enantiomers are there so those enantiomer has to convert it into racemic mixture that process will call it as racemization here we have taken the example of 2 butanol 
Inversion, retention and racemization. There are three outcomes for a reaction at an asymmetric carbon atom. Consider a replacement of a group X by Y in the following reaction. What are those three outcomes we have seen with the definition? We will see one by one. See here. First we will see the retention. This is X. Okay. Here the same configuration can be seen here. So it is retention. Here you can observe, no, this X will be written here. This is reactant and this is product. The configuration is same here and here also same. So it is giving the retention. The inversion of it you can observe here. And this is the A plus B racemization. Okay, two enantiomers getting to form a racemic mixture called racemization. This is retention, that is inversion. This is racemization. If A is the only compound obtained, the process is called retention of configuration. See, X, this is reactant, this is product, but all the configuration is same, other product, other compounds configuration, so it is retention. If B is the only comp compound obtained, the process is called inversion of configuration. This is the inversion of configuration. See, H is here, the opposite inverted H is here. C2H5 another side, CH3 another side. So it is inversion. 50-50 percentage mixture of the above two is obtained. The process is called racemization and the product is optically inactive. And the total two product will be 50 percent and 50 percentage of mixture. And those two are optically inactive. Okay. Next one, SN2 reactions are accompanied by racemization. Actually the carbocation formed in the slowest step. Being sp2 hybridized is planar, the attack of the nucleophile may be accomplished by either from side resulting in a mixture of products, one having the same configuration as that alkyl halide and another having opposite configuration. Example hydrolysis of optically active 2-bromobutane which results in the formation of butanol that is receiving mixture called butanol where the carbocation is forming that is a slowest step and it may be accomplished from either side resulting in a mixture. Here the overall carbocation is formed and here nucleophile is forming. See here from either side it will form. It is from dextrorotatory that is plus sign is showing. It is from levorotatory here minus sign is showing. So dextrorotatory means right side that is clockwise rotation. This is in the anti-clockwise rotation. In case of optically active alkyl halide, the product formed as a result of SN2 mechanism has the inverted configuration as compared to the reactant. This is because of nucleophile attaches itself on the side of opposite to one where the halogen atom is present. When 2-bromo-octane react with sodium hydroxide, 2-octanol is formed with the OH group occupying. Here, OH, whatever nucleophile is there, it is coming opposite to the bromine is formed that's why the position opposite what bromide hand will be occupied okay order of reactivity of various alkyl halides sn1 and sn2 what is the order of reactivity in sn1 and sn2 in case of alkyl halides tertiary alkyl halides undergo sn1 reaction very fast because of high stability of tertiary carbocation in sn1 reaction with respect to tertiary alkyl halides will undergo fast sn1 reaction because high stability of tertiary carbocation. Methyl halides react most rapidly in SN2 reactions because there are only three small hydrogen atoms. This is tertiary. There are only three small hydrogen atoms. That's why it undergo very fastly. Tertiary halides are the least reactive because bulky groups hinder the approaching nucleophiles. Thus the order of reactivity followed is primary halide, secondary halide and tertiary halide. This is methyl will get fast because three hydrogen atoms are there. In the tertiary, why means three hindrance group, bulky groups are present. So it will stop or it will avoid some of the reactions. So it will comes in the last in between. Like how the hydrogens will get less, the reaction will get slow. That's why methyl next primary, next secondary and next tertiary group. The order of reactivity of alkyl halides to an SN1 and SN2 reactions are as follow. This is SN1, SN2, tertiary halide, secondary halide, primary halide and this is methyl group and in SN1, SN1 reaction first methyl, next primary, next secondary and next tertiary group.
This is called order of reactivity of alkyl halides towards SN1 and SN2 reaction. This is overall the stereochemical aspects of SN1 and SN2 reaction. And in the next class or next session, we'll discuss about elimination reaction or remaining chemical properties of haloalkanes and haloarenes. I hope you have understood completely whatever I have thought today regarding stereochemical aspects of SN1 and SN2 reaction. We'll meet in the next session to understand about elimination reactions of haloalkanes and haloarenes. Till that, thank you.